One mistake I made when setting up this boat was I have my seats mounted just a little bit too low for my liking. I've been sitting on the flotation seat over here, which has put me at a really good height. So what I wanted to do was rework my back bench area here, raise it up about four to five inches and add storage under the seats. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all disassembled. And once it's disassembled, I'll take a look at what I need to do next. The old bench and framing has been removed. These are all the mounts and brackets that I had used. I want to tidy up this area and seal the gap in the back, throw some carpet down and see what we can do to finish this area. All right, I've got this trimmed up pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the carpet glue, get the carpet in place. And while that's drying, I'm gonna be trimming up the edges so everything looks nice and straight and neat. Okay, with the carpet trimmed up and glued down, I'm gonna go ahead and weight this all down, specifically that seam right there. Make sure this gets some good adhesion to both the floor and the back bench here. And then I'm gonna get started on working on the framing. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with how this all turned out. Uh, the glue is drying. It's been on here for about a couple hours or so. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my aluminum back there and get a couple eight inch risers cut. Then once they're on the boat, I'm gonna come out level, rivet in some support pieces onto this back bench. That'll give a place for the seat top to sit into. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have the basic framing complete for the one side of the hatch. Now I'm trimming down the seat base. I'm gonna cut each side and then peel it back enough so I can rewrap it, saving this piece. This piece is probably gonna be too small, but I'm still gonna hang on to it just in case. All right, well, honestly, not bad. I scored the carpet on the one side, peeled it back, cut the wood, and then rewrap the carpet. See how we line up here. That is looking dead on. That is perfect. So at this point, I have the carpet glued down. I have all of the mounting points in place for the passenger seat hinge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the seat mount for the driver's side. I did my measurements already, 16 inches from front to back, and it's about 23 inches to close the gap. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and seal that up, wrap it in carpet. Once both pieces are carpeted in place, then I can start working on that front panel. All right, while I have the waterproofing on the driver's side seat curing, I went ahead and cut the faceboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one waterproofed and carpeted, and then once we have all the pieces carpeted, we can start assembly. All right, so new update. I'm kind of blasting along on this video. I have the front cover piece cut and carpeted, the driver's side mount cut and carpeted. First, I wanna get this hinge mechanism working because I might need to manipulate this board in a certain way, um, including this front support. So I want that all in place. That way I can line up the driver's seat so everything looks nice and flush together. All right, making more progress. I got the hinge attached. It opens and closes pretty smoothly. So I got two anchor points there in the front rail. I'm gonna go ahead and get those two screwed in and then drill out all the other holes and then get the rest of this mounted. All right, well, this is pretty cool. Lift it up, boom, look at that. Total in bench storage now. I'm gonna get some front bracing on, back bracing on, and get this last piece on. Then it's just the cover piece.
as just one little bonus addition before I put this all together, I wired up another light in my light series. Uh, now, when you turn the lights on, I got a light under there that should illuminate under the deck. Um, I really wanted it closer to this side since this won't have a lid that opens, but this will give plenty of light to both sides of the storage hatch now. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so with the back bench essentially complete, now I need to work on setting up my seats. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to change things around a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the driver's seat back in here, see where I'm gonna fit and sit. Uh, once I have mine in place, I'll see how it scales out to where the previous mounts were for the passenger and middle seat, or if I need to adjust those as well. Now these are usually some of the behind the scenes adjustments that I do to make things work for me myself since I'm a giant and about 12 feet tall. But now that I have raised the seat up, steering wheel, it's a little too forward facing for me. So I'm seeing if I can add a couple washers on the bottom of the bracket here to kind of pull this out some so it's tilted up and see if it feels a little bit more comfortable. I'm giving it a try now and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, now you can kind of see the angle of the steering wheel better. That actually fits really, really well right now. All right, I'm also really happy where I have my seat positions. It's a little more inward. Um, I had been kind of sitting on the side of my seat anyway. I'm wanting good weight balance in the boat. So now I'm able to pull my seat a little bit to the side. Everything still functions. I'm gonna get all the seats mounted up. Front cover on, it's all buttoned up and I'll show you guys what I did. Okay guys, well, the new seat platform and storage section is complete. Let me go ahead and give you guys a full walkthrough of what I've done, show you guys a bunch of little touches I did to make this come out really, really good. First off, the reason I did what I did was because I needed to raise the seats up off the floor about four inches higher. So what I did was I took the old seat platform, raised it up about four inches. Now the seats sit about eight and a half inches off the floor, which is pretty standard for boat seating. Everything was built using plywood and aluminum. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you how it all works. First things first, the passenger seat and center seat fold down. And then the whole top comes up to allow a huge section of under seat storage. This was something I really wanted to accomplish because at the moment I only had my front bench storage. And while it did handle pretty much everything I needed, my life jackets take up a tremendous amount of space that I'm now able to put under here and free up a whole bunch of space up front for other things I wanna to add to the boat. Um, for mounting the seats, I basically just ran through bolts and washers on the one side. I took the wood that was already here and painted it so it matches the boat when you lift it. Um, on the one seat over here, it actually attaches with screws. Um, bolts wouldn't really work with the hinge mechanism on the bottom of the seat here. So what I did here was I took some rubber caps, filled them with silicone, and stuck them over the ends of the screws. That way when I'm pulling life jackets in and out, I make sure that they don't get caught on the screws. For the hinging mechanism, I'm using a 30 inch piano hinge. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want something similar. Uh, so far, it's working out really great. Uh, it came with screws that I used to attach it to the wood, and then I used a little, little bit larger stainless sheet metal screws to attach into the framing. For the framing, it's all 1 16th aluminum. I have supports running down the front, a 1 16th piece down the front of it also. And then I added some 1 8th pieces along the back for just a little bit more solid support on the back side of the platform here. One other cool thing I added under here was a light. It's actually hidden behind that back bar. That light illuminates the area perfectly. It doesn't need to be super bright because you know this side will always lift up. There's gonna be other lights around the boat, but now it'll at least illuminate under the back side and then come forward. To cover everything up, I built a new front cover piece here. Uh, one little thing I did that I thought was just a neat finishing touch was that everything is mounted, as far as screws go, behind the straps that fold down. It's probably hard to see because I buried the screw pretty well, but here is the screw that mounts the front board into the front here. There's actually one here and then one down there. But since this is how the seats are always going to sit, I thought, hey, if I put it behind the strap, you'll never see it. I've been finding myself sitting more on the side of the seat uh, for weight balance on the boat. So I want to move that in a little bit, but it also put me at a higher angle to the steering wheel. So I took the steering wheel off. I added some spacers on the bottom two mounts to the steering mechanism and actually have this angled upward now. Adding the angle to the steering wheel that I did made it feel a lot more comfortable sitting in the seat and holding onto the steering wheel. So there you have it guys. That is the new raised platform with under seat storage. I am so, so happy with how this came out. It is going to free up a ton of space in the front of the boat. As you can see in my front storage area here, it's pretty much just filled with life jackets and ropes. Uh, now I'll be able to move a lot of that to the back of the boat. 
I'll be able to add some towels and stuff like that. Just basically take care of any of the large bulk items that we're not gonna be accessing often. But if we need to, the new hinge mechanism to get inside, gonna work really, really well. I'd really love to know what you guys think about the seat bend, so drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. Guys, well, if you found this helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this and all the cool stuff I got coming up for the John phone, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.